Hello, as they say a picture is worth a thousand words and that's why diagrammatic representation of software architecture is very important. We have plethora of drag and drop tools available for our diagramming needs but I have a huge inclination on using code for making diagrams and hence in this video I am proposing diagrams, a python tool for all your infrastructure diagramming needs. Let's get started. Diagram as a code refers to the practice of creating visual diagrams such as system architectures, infrastructure layouts, process flows, etc. using code rather than a graphical user interface. There are multiple benefits on using diagram as a code. The first one is what you write is what you get. You have reduced struggle with drawings using a tool. Version control you can do versioning on your diagrams which you have created you can collaborate with your team members on the same diagrams consistency is another benefit you would be getting consistent diagrams if you use diagram as a code uh, some examples of the tools which are available is diagrams which we are going to see in this specific video plant uml i have covered in one of my previous videos and i'm going to put a link here mermaid is another very famous tool javascript based tool for diagram as a code diagrams was born for prototyping a new system architecture without any design tools diagrams lets you draw the cloud system architecture in python code the prerequisites for the diagrams are number one you should be having python 3.6 onwards you should have installed graph viz on your machine and diagrams which you can install using pip install and the instructions of installation are there in the website. I'll put a hyperlink to the website in the description. Diagrams has a very simplistic flow. The first thing is you have to import the modules which you want to represent. This is basically the different elements which you want to represent on your diagram. The second thing is you have to create an instance of diagram, which is very simple one line uh, with which you can create the instance with the diagram name of the diagram show equal to false which means that you want to save it as an image instead of showing it on the screen the third step is create your diagramming logic wherein you create nodes you create clusters and then you connect the different nodes and clusters this cluster creation is optional if you don't have the need to create cluster it's optional so the core diagramming logic is Again, I'm repeating, we have to create the nodes and how we can create the nodes. Very simply, we have to give the name of the node, what kind of node we want to create and what is the description of the node which would be shown on the diagram. And then clusters, cluster is group of nodes, the grouping which you can do. As we see the code, it will become more clear. And then for connection, you can use arrows to have connections between nodes or clusters you can have the styling of the connections using something called as a edge you can use the edge for coloring the lines and different kind of styles which you can give to the line it can be dashed it can be dotted or it can be solid and then when you are connecting if you want to use the default uh, edges you don't have to put this custom edge but custom edge is required if you want to have a custom edge meaning some kind of different styling for the edge then you have to insert a custom edge between two connections the other important thing is the diagram orientation there are two kinds of orientation which is possible left to right and top to bottom we'll see this also in a bit so now i am in the diagrams website we can see the installation instructions which are here we have some examples also listed here we will go through some of the examples then as i was mentioning earlier while doing the diagramming we have nodes we have clusters and we have edges so they have given the details of how this can be done so let's go through some of the examples which are there so this is the first example the first thing which we have to do is import so these are the different imports we have to do now how do you know that the package for ec2 is this this i am going to show you in a bit in the code after the import is done after the first step of importing is done the second step is you have to create an instance of the diagram which is very simple you have to uh, write this line to create the instance and direction is top to bottom like indicated here tb then you create the different uh, nodes 
which are connected together so here I, what i did is what this example does is it has a elastic load balancer lv and it is connected to a group of worker nodes how it is a group because it is written between the square brackets so it is a group of ec2 nodes and then finally this group is connected to rds and the rds name is events so that is the example which is here let's see this one in action So this is the image which got created with this code. So we had the load balancer, it got connected to a workers, which are grouped workers and they are also connected to this events database. So you can see how easy it is to create this. Now let's see an example of a cluster also. So here, this is a clustered web service. So again, the same thing, you have the imports, you have the diagram instance created and then you create the nodes. So these are nodes outside the cluster and within the cluster you have created a service group and the service group contains these three ECS. These three ECS it contains and then you create another cluster which is a DB cluster. Now DB cluster has a primary and it has associated read-only database also which association you can show by using this hyphen. And then there is a memcached which you have used, the DB which you have used, memcached in mem DB you have used. And then finally what you are doing is connections. So DNS which is here DNS, DNS to lib connection, load balancer connection. And from load ba balancer you are getting connected to the service group. And service group is basically getting connected to both the DB primary and the memcached. This is another example which is using diagrams from GCP. Then this is another one which is using Kubernetes. So there are different examples which are here which you can leverage. Now the question would be that how do you know that which import I have to do for Aurora from AWS. So how can I know is I can go to AWS and the services are grouped nicely. So if I have to see services with respect to analytics it is here, with respect to database it is here, with respect to gaming, IoT. I can click and I would be able to see which diagram and which service I want to use. Same is the case with Azure, Azure Migration, Azure Security, Kubernetes, again the same thing, Infra, Compute, Cluster Group and uh, same is with Elastic also. So we have the groupings already established here. The another important thing to note is if in case you want to use custom images, that is also possible. So there is a way to use custom images as well. It's all documented nicely. I'll close the video here. Hope you like it. Thank you very much.